Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 38 of What's That Pepper series. Today, I have the world hottest pepper for the review. This is the Carolina Reaper, grown by me. One of the craziest looking fruit uh, that I've grown basically every year. I just love the way they look and the plant is just absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, let's go take a look at the plant, then we'll come back, cut this open, let you see what's inside. I'll tell you a little bit about the pepper and then we'll try it. All right, here is what the reaper plant looked like. And reapers are usually one of the most pretty plants that I've ever grown in my garden. Um, compared to other pepper plants, I always enjoy or love the way they look. They're very, very beautiful and they can grow very large. So depending on the size of the containers, these plants can actually get up to four to five feet tall and they span very, very wide. So um, if you want to see how large these guys can get, you can go back to my 2015 grow series and check them out. They're just massive. They also produce some of the most beautiful fruits that I've ever seen. I just love the way they look. So check this out. They're just gorgeous. And the unique thing about the Reaper is that they're always so wrinkly. I mean, they, they just look, look scary. Um, Reapers do have um, medium-sized leaves and the stalk, like around the, uh, the joint here, they're, they're somewhat purple. So the, the leaves are a lot uh, darker than some of the other plants. Like this here is a Bahamian goat, and as you can see, uh, they're slightly different in color. It, it's a little hard to see on the camera. But the reaper leaves are usually a little darker and you can tell they have a sort of like a hint of purple. Anyway, let's go ahead and harvest some fruits and then we'll go inside and try them out. So this one is ready here, so we'll pick them. Look how beautiful this look. They're always wrinkly and the fruits are not very big. They're usually uh, about the size of your thumb. Uh, so they're, they're smaller than a lot of the other super hots, but they're very pretty and very bright red and always wrinkled. So we'll pick a few more and then, then we'll try them. All right, here's a closer look at the Reapers. Uh, there are a few different sizes here. And most of the time well, when the, the plant is healthy and it's producing a good phenotype, this is usually uh, what they look like. And it's kind of round, very, very wrinkled, and it has a very unique tail. So that's a, a good characteristic of a, a good pheno reaper. And sometimes it'll look like this. It's like kind of like turned awkwardly, but still it's kind of round there, lots of bumps. So that's uh, what reapers usually look like. And then, of course, these are as well. <laughs> these are some of the not very good looking, but they, they, they still have the same features. Wrinkled, uh, little tail there. Same with this one. Very odd looking. And sometimes, every once in a while, you have something that look like this. Uh, some of them are longer. These are the ones that I don't like. I, these are my favorite. So uh, every single year when I grow uh, reapers, I always pick seeds out of pots that look somewhat like this so I can get the same traits. So I brought along a few of other fruits to uh, sort of like give you a comparison of how reapers are typically smaller than most of the other super hot. This is my Brazilian ghost here. And uh, this is the same. So as you can see, they, the largest of my reaper is still smaller than the rest of the other fruit. This is a regular ghost, just a red ghost. And this is a Jay's peach ghost times chocolate ghost. These things get really large. I've gave most of all the large ones away. This is uh, what I have left, but they, they can get much larger. So th that's just to give you a size comparison. So we'll move this out of the way. All right, we'll cut this one open and I will show you what's inside. So the Reaper is currently the world hottest pepper as you guys probably already know. And it was created by Ed Curry. The Scoville units for this variety is, uh, it averages at 1.5 million, but it can peak 
at 2.2 million so it's it, you know that's that's very very hot so here is the look inside the pepper the wall is always very thin uh, there's a good amount of seeds there placenta is very large uh, for this small size and I can smell the heat from here so let's give it a smell wow <laughs> It smells very hot. Surprisingly, it has a very pleasant smell. It smells a little sweet to me, but you can feel the heat as you as you kind of try to sniff it. So lots of oil, but um, these thin wall peppers also like the ghost. They are always so hot for me. I mean, I like the the thicker wall peppers, like the Scotch bonnet. Uh, it has much more. Uh, of a flavor is juicy crunchy and the heat is not extreme but these thin wall peppers always so hot let's cut a piece here and uh, we'll try it because these things are so hot uh, you know I'm not gonna go crazy with that so <laughs> that's a piece I'm gonna try alright guys here is the Reaper so we're going to give it a try just a small piece because <laughs> I'm kind of scared of this. I mean, I grow this every year, but I haven't built up the courage to try this on video uh, all this time, but uh, I finally have that. <laughs> so, here we go. Very slow, Bill. Yep, I, I, hear, I feel heat right now. Wow. Heat everywhere. this is very hot so as soon as, as you chew it there's not much of a flavor I didn't get any taste of flavor wow this is really hot and then as you keep chewing and chewing the heat start to build and you can feel it all over your mouth And then, <clears throat> wow, for a small piece, that, that brings some really good heat. My throat is on fire right now. I'm starting to sweat. Very warm on the chest. Wow, this thing is hot. Oh, man. Good thing I just ate a small piece. Sweating everywhere. Whew. I didn't get any flavor. Just a little crunchiness and then straight heat. Wow. <clears throat> My chest is really warm right here. Heat stuck around the throat area. Wow. Yep, this is the reason why this thing is the hottest in the world. <sighs> Whew, man. <clears throat> it's starting to die down a little bit. Definitely don't recommend eating the entire pod just straight up. I would leave that for the experts. Wow. I'm just salivating all over the place. I didn't get any any flavor. It's just straight heat after a few seconds. It has a very, very pleasant smell, but the smell is just, is just like, you can tell it has like, sort of like a, a sweet smell, but all heat, and the flavor, 
didn't get any <laughs> straight heat again. Look at this, it's a very beautiful pod. I love the way it looks because it just looks scary. It's very bumpy. It's a round, nice round shape. That stinger is just very unique to the Reaper itself. <clears throat> it's, it's, uh, the size is not very big, but I'm so surprised. All the heat is packed in that little thing. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much subsided. It's it's kind of kind of dying down. So I'm recollecting. <clears throat> Carolina Reaper created by Ed Curry, the hottest pepper in the world. Scovilles go from 1.5 million Scoville units, and it peaked at 2.2. <sighs> yeah, it is the hottest pepper in the world, and I can see why. Uh, the seeds of this is readily available. It's readily available online. You can pretty much find it anywhere. But I rock. I always recommend go to the source to get the seeds. I think the Pucka Butt Company. That's where uh, Ed Curry has the seed for sale. Uh, there's a lot of people uh, before that used to buy their seeds. Um, like on eBay or AliExpress and then they grow it out three months later is not what they <laughs> what they originally thought it was so you know spend a little bit more uh, to get the right seeds from the right source because time is money I mean you wasted three months to find out that those are not the seeds you want is such a waste of time so if you know uh, your source and trust it then buy it from there and if you don't know where to get the actual reaper seeds always revisit the the parent company that 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 created these seeds to get it uh, I would probably steer away from um, AliExpress or eBay or wherever there you know there's not really uh, a way to know those are pure seeds well after a while still it's still heat there but um, you can also join Pepper Lovers community. <laughs> There's a lot of people on there that grow these and uh, can probably trade with you or maybe even sell it to you. I'm not sure. But uh, Reaper, guys, uh, the hottest pepper in the world. Very, very spicy. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please come join the Pepper Lovers community. I mean, the community is growing so fast. We're at uh, almost 6,500 people. And it is probably the best place uh, to make friends. I mean, it's, it's a family-oriented uh, community. Uh, there are young adults on there to people that just love to grow peppers and people that also do pepper for business. So when you just join this site, not only would you get information about growing peppers, I mean, there's uh, information about how to make jam, hot sauce, trading, all kinds of great stuff and it, it's a wealth of knowledge I mean I don't think uh, I have known this much information about growing peppers if it wasn't for the people sharing information on the community anyway uh, that's all thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe